what's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, we're about to get into, uh, you know, several clips of videos to speak about what's been going on on the Internet. I am going to take care of the Patreon for tonight um, to send it to y'all tonight. So I will be reacting to Baddies Caribbean, I think that came out. Uh, I'm going to react to the trailer for Roly, and I'm going to react to Bad vs. Wild. OK, so if y'all not tapped into the Patreon, what are you doing? Tap in. Um, and right now we about to get into your boy Ray J. Now, I did watch the interview um, on um, the Breakfast Club with Ray J. It was a good interview. He's really much, he's really, really excited about his network. I thought it was his. But here go whack because Ray J said he want to work with Krishan, which Krishan don't want to work with Ray J. But it's, it's just a thought. And um Girl, whack over here throwing salt on it with his salty ass. On platform called Rare Room TV. Hold on. Too, too far into it. You can find Krishan and tell her let's work something out, whatever she wants to do. Like, we different from other networks. Like, she might be looking into her own. Okay, cool. So, in the process of this, whack actually messaged. Oh, you can see it right here. Not gonna happen. It's right here. Not gonna happen. Uh, we gonna read the comments on that. It, it, look, it's all good. I mean, I got some powerhouse partners like Young Rich Moolah and Stunner Girl. Like they. He didn't even name Whack. Like we blocked in, and they already got their network. We we've already helped create a whole streaming platform called Rare Room TV. Rare Room TV is collaborating with Tronics, and I think that's how that's we want to do it with everybody eventually to where everybody has their own network and then we all just if stunner if if Krishan gonna be on anybody's network it'll be via through stunner girl but if it had anything to do with whack i wouldn't want to be on it either partner up on network he's a cock blocker <laughs> and instead of my like you know fighting for i don't know for clout you can be fighting um for network rights and fighting for uh, who who has the biggest platform, right? That's the that's the big play. That's where everybody eats. Well, we have Krishan on the show, but she's on on the House of Blueface, and and um, man, she just she 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 killed it. She came with it. The scenes, the scenes are so loud, bro. It's so loud. Um, it's so entertaining, though. It's very very entertaining. You can find Krishan. It's actually the old version of Krishan. Um, like, she was smaller. This was before Junior, so it was forever ago. But footage is footage, okay? Whack 100 is a hater, okay? Let's get into what he had to say. Look, everybody, hater. <laughs> For real, though. Like, what are you doing? Like, why are you so in her business like that? I thought you ain't like her or whatever. <laughs> like, why Why are you all in her business like that? Um... He said, well, not he, but somebody said exactly what talent do she have? Not a her best bet is to advocate for her son. Okay, you need to move. Why are you so threatened by a young woman all these years and uh, she still has you shook? Seek help urgently up extra early to try dictate someone's life. Your little crush on Blueface has gone too far. The crush on Blueface is crazy, but um, I got where you was going with this. He's a hater. Now, don't get me wrong, Krishan can be a lot, but networks are a lot. And so is everybody on the damn network. As far as I'm concerned, that's where she be belonging. She belong in the drama. She belong in the mix with everything going on and will end up at church on Sunday. Okay? So, or Friday, you know, let her tell it. So, I'm just saying, like, he a hater, bro. Uh, but I, if I were either one of them, I wouldn't want to work with each other, okay? Uh, you big mad, hater, hater, talk some sense into him, hater. Um, you correct on that, her pimp blue face not going to let that happen anyway, facts. Uh, why does grown man obsessed with rock? Big rock, not the little one. Hate to grow up, leave her alone. We sick of you, go argue with men, leave that girl alone. I'm with him when he right. Well, no, I'm with them when they're right. I'm not with him on this one. Like, I completely understand why they don't want to work with each other. But my boy, I don't think y'all are working with each other. Okay? I think that um, she, well, Ray J is trying to work with her. And if you in the background, stay there. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, next subject. 
This is Carlissa. Hold on. This, Carlissa is basically bringing up <coughs> the conversation between Rock, Wack, uh, not Wack, but Rock and Tesecki, where Tesecki, Rock was allegedly setting up Bluefus, setting up something to happen to him because he, well, she thought that, girl, this is so much mess. She thought that he was trying to set her up with Jaden, hence is why she lost her tooth. Um, let me look at Circus of Blues. So hopefully it's still there. Circus of Blues. Oh, she finally showed his face. That was a baby. Okay, here it is. All right, these are all of the text messages. Come on. Tesecki confirms Krishan tried to set Blueface, Jaden, and Callie up. And these are the messages. And Carlissa has a crying face over there, girl. Um, I want all them done. Blueface's sister, baby mama on God. Uh, y'all, this is not new. We've seen this. If y'all haven't seen it, feel free to um, look at these messages. Uh, I don't know what Carlissa thought she would gain by bringing it back up because it is definitely in the past. However, I get the point. I mean, I would never be with nobody that set me up. If I was, if I was, um, Tesecki, I would never talk to Krishan again, but if I was Krishan, I would never talk to Tesecki again either because they both did each other dirty as far as I'm concerned. Um, and with Carlissa, your son don't like you gang. He don't like you, and he don't like you for a reason. No matter how many times she tried to roll Krishan up under the bus, she's already rolled herself up under the bus. No matter how many times you're trying to roll Jaden up under the bus, it's not going to work. He's not going to talk to you. He don't like you. <laughs> you had him and all. Oh, yes, you did. He don't like you, though. At all, y'all. That man don't like that woman, you and me. So, girl, here we are with that. Anyway, on to our third topic this is Carlissa again. Let me get these titties off the screen. Carlissa says she doesn't worship Blueface because he's not doing anything for her, himself, or his kids all of a sudden. Worship my son the way y'all do. Like, nigga, you not. Hold on. I want to get. I don't worship my son the way y'all do. Like, nigga, you not really doing shit. You're not really doing shit for me. You're not really doing shit for yourself or your kids. You just scrambling around just trying to make ends meet. This why I don't worship my son the way y'all do scrambling around trying to make ends meet is hilarious okay <laughs> because i think he is absolutely doing the total opposite however um she's flipping on I him because he flipped on her via whack from from what whack said whack basically said Blueface ain't want to talk to her he said he has absolutely begged him to talk to her he don't want to talk to her now she flipped on him Per usual. Anyway, here's the next clip. I know Jaden was hurting. Uh, any woman would be hurting about a whole baby. Hell, it took Wendy Williams out. I don't know what I would do if Mrs. Sappho brought home a baby. So I know that could be a painful feeling. I knew. I know Jaden was hurt. So she spoke on Jaden that day and Blueface and Krishan per usual, child. And um, I'm going to have the full lives on my other channel. I just wanted to speak about it here. But listen, y'all. I just feel as though um, if, if Blueface don't like his mama like that, it's way deeper than what we think. Got to be. Because he'll, he'll keep back. He'll continue to talk to Jaden. I don't care what she do to him. He'll continue talking to Krishan. I don't care what she do to him. He do not want to talk to his mama. So clearly she has done something to have that man on the like, mm -mm, I don't want to mess with her at all. You know what I'm saying? And, um... Yeah, that's just kind of that on that. Y'all let me know what y'all think about all of this down in the comment section below. Now, I'm going to use this video to get into P. Diddy because um, nobody's going to... Y'all not... Oh, he is the cutest. Oh, my God. She, this is her first time showing a baby. I'm so sorry. Anyway, um, oh, he's the cutest. Okay, so we're going to go to Neighborhood Talk. Oh, that's the cutest little thing. All right, Diddy is going through it. Okay, first of all, for those that don't know, 
his house um, was raided, both of them. He has a house in Miami. He has a house in Los Angeles. And they raided both of them. He has the kids getting arrested. You know, the kids is in handcuffs. Uh, man, this is them going into the house. I might have to put this on Patreon. This is the kids. If it, if it make it here, I, I looked up. He had the kids in handcuffs, basically, um, because he wasn't there. So this is everything that, that went down. And I'm going to tell y'all, um, I think that's Justin. I didn't even see all this. I didn't even see that. Who was that? Y'all, that man house is huge. This nigga had a castle. But anyway, so that happened. All right. I just want to show y'all what happened, and then I'm going to tell you how I feel about the whole situation. Because first of all, he trifling for having his sons outside looking like this. He trifling as hell for that. Now, I ain't going to lie. Knowing that my daddy might have, might not have done some of the hellacious things that they saying he's done, I'm out. Anyway, they got money. <laughs> now, granted, I know in certain investigations, they'll raid everybody's house, okay? They will raid everybody's house. So don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that um, they would have just been clean. It would have been a clean slate. But it probably would have been a clean slate if they was over Brittany's house or if they was over Ashley's house. My point is I wouldn't have been at his house, period. Not that I ain't, you know, I ain't trying to take up for you, dad, or whatever. But, bro... You put yourself in this, and now you got us in this. Bro, and, like, whatever they say he did, allegedly, he did that shit allegedly. <laughs> I, I I think a lot of the stuff that they are talking about is true, allegedly. You know what I'm saying? Because, bro, every, every video we see him, he's always riled up and, like, aggressive. Very aggressive, and he calls it passion, but no, nigga, that's just aggression, okay? This is not even passion. No passion. There's no passion about him aside from the fact that he was passionate about making some money. But so passionate, he just, like, slid to the devil and was like, yeah, let's work together because, bro. So anyway, I just feel like he wrong as hell for having his sons out there like that. And don't get me wrong, they ain't look scared, but I, I'm sure they were in the beginning. I would have been. But, um, man, let me see what some of these people are saying. Uh, and I really don't want to show the comments because it, the, the comments, you know what? We can't even read the comments. I'm going to read the comments on Patreon. I got to. Or I'm going to take this content to rumble, matter of fact. That's probably what I'll do. Like... Y'all, some some stuff I just can't put on here, bro. And y'all don't, you don't want to go to Patreon, or some of y'all do, some of you don't. I, some of the stuff that y'all want to see, and y'all be mad that I don't talk about, is because I can't put it on here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I might create a rumble just to talk about this P Diddy shit, because that's the only place I'll be able to talk about freely. Because this is a mess. Yeah, y'all, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm gonna just say I think he did that. I'm looking at Young Miami too. <laughs> Young Miami trying to kind of act tough. Like, they like, what's the, what's up? Where you at? Right here. <laughs> Child, they, they having a field day on her in the comments because they like, you know, it's convenient how he going through this and now you all right and you ain't trying to be bothered and you ain't, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of crazy. So y'all let me know what y'all think about all of this down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.